Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another episode of Hidarashi. Last episode, Keiichi's struggling a bit, um, choosing or deciding what to do with Satoko. A little different from Tatoroshi, instead of just going headfirst into it. Um, he's properly weighing his options. I wonder why. Um, maybe it's because of how Shion and Ren are acting that he can... Maybe keep a more leveled head, even if you can even call it that, since he's still pretty uh, emotional. But I don't know how long this will last, because the big thing at the end of uh, last episode was Rena declaring that she's going to kill Tepe. She's made up her mind. Um, and I feel like Xion might have done the same. I don't know. Like Maybe they're not even like working together. They're both aiming for that, so like... Would Keiichi be like a unifier like we thought before and made like a, <laughs> a, a group killing of Tepe? Which I, I've explained multiple times throughout this arc that probably won't be well, especially without uh, Mion's assist, but... And, you know, Oishi's constant surveillance. But, you know, uh, Oishi missed Keiichi kill Tepe, which was hilarious, so... Who knows, maybe they can make it through that anyways. But yeah, let's get uh, right into it. The next morning, Rena wasn't at our usual meeting place. At first glance, it seemed like a fairly trivial deal detail, but a thought came to me, yeah. The gears had started turning. Even though Rena wasn't here, I could still hear her voice echoing through my ears. I'm going to kill Tepe. I'm going to kill Tepe. Kill. Kill. Rena's voice continued echoing. Guided by those words, I pressed onward and made my way to school on my own. Oh, well, Rena's here at least. I found the usual morning scene inside the classroom. Rena was already in her seat, chatting gleefully with Rika-chan. Oh, oh, one day to watch an Adashi. Tepe. Your doomsday is near. Sad or exhausted Rika. As an exhausted meep. <laughs> True. I will miss, uh... The headpiece from Go and So Too. I thought Rita's uh, maid outfit, or not maid outfit, ma uh, shrine maid an outfit looked so fire. <laughs> Rena stroked Rita Chan's head with an enchanted look in her eyes. <laughs> hey, Rita finished the sentence for. <laughs> You're pretty shy. Good banter. Actually, good banter. When when I was getting along with Rita Chan, she smiled and called out good morning as soon as she noticed me. I couldn't discern anything from Renner's expression, just a generic smile on her face. Smack me? I suddenly felt a sharp jab up on my back. When I turned around, I saw Mion standing there. What's up? Mia sat down in her seat to evade my words, then said sorry as she clapped her hands together. Huh? Mia examined my expression more closely. I'm confused too. After muttering that, Mion's expression began to cloud over for a moment, but her face quickly changed back to something brighter. What? Okay, wait, what did I miss? She Didn't she just slap? I suddenly felt a sharp jab on my back when I turned around and saw Mion standing there. Good morning. Why did that seem deeper? I thought she just like, did she like put something on his back? That's what I thought happened. 
But when she's when when it got a little awkward, I was confused. <laughs> Come on, Mion, give up the goods. Excuse me. Well, I, I, I actually didn't, because Rena wasn't there either. No shot, like, you think Xi'an, like, did the thing, Adlan? That'd be crazy. I hope not. I mean, it kind of made sense if her and Rena go off the deep end with the high level. But, like, I don't know. I didn't think much of it until Mian brought it up. I was so concerned about Rena that I completely failed to notice Mian wasn't at our regular meeting place. Thanks, Chichi. おはよう、けいちゃん。おはよう、けいちゃん。ざ、あらな。本当に気づいてない。That's Am I crazy? I might be crazy. But to me, it's it's it kind of low-key sounds like Xi'an pretending to be Mion. But I don't know if that's like discernible or not. Mion, why are you trying so hard to lie to me? You never made such an obvious mistake. Based on her rough appearance, I could tell she wasn't feeling insecure about her punctuality. She ran out of her way to make up this big excuse, even though I didn't ask. Did she have some sort of ulterior motive? Besides, Mian has been late uh, for our meetings a couple times before. So why would she only bother to apologize for today? At first glance, it seemed like a fairly trivial difference. A trivial detail, a trivial change. A second gear started turning. あ、いいか、ちばしてる感じ。さては、夜更かしでもしてね。そ、そうか。面白いシニア番組あったからさ、ついつい。え、クラスティック。インスタントリーリアクティブウィズアライ。アブソルトリー、トゥンテルミアン
言おうと思ってたのは昨日のことだけど俺ミオンにきついことばっかり言いすぎたなって。True, no bully, best girl. いいよもう。Bro, look at that face. Serene Mion. Dude, remember my names for faces in the OG Hidrashi read through? I, don't, I think I had like some names. I remember Serene Mion and Serene Satoko with like a similar face. Those were the truly blessed faces. Though Mion has like the cuter version of this, right? Also, I don't think this is Shion right now. Kinda doesn't. I mean, it made sense if it's like a, everyone's high level in Dokyo's Tepe, but. It's just like, I guess the main thing would be the motivation is different because Shion does all that to find out who killed Satoshi. But if her goal is to kill Tepe, then she doesn't necessarily need to act the same way as she usually does. Ooh, I feel like that's a good answer, actually. So, nice. Well, <laughs> No, <laughs> that line made me more nervous again. Kichi literally saying, Oh, well, that sounds like me on to me. Made me doubt. God damn it, I don't want to feel these so you, these seeds of doubt. Me unpleasantly shrugged her shoulders and laughed with me. It felt like the weight of my heart was finally getting a little lighter. What is a song, dude? The soundtrack's a little weird for this. It's been explained that it's been replaced officially to avoid copyright. Some of it's slapped, some of it's a little weird. But this one's really weird. I guess it's creepy. For some reason, I thought it was like wedding bells at first, but now it, it, it does sound creepy. A little overly creepy, to be honest, right now. For this scene. What? <laughs> Did he? I didn't think he was actually originally gonna say Rena's secret, but I thought he just wanted to apologize. So Mian sent something after all? Honestly, having Mian on our team actually kind of helps a lot if she can rehide the bodies again. Though, again, assuming we kill in the same method. I froze on the spot as if hit by a magic spell. It felt like slow motion as Mian approached me step by step. Yes. True? Are you being weird about it though? Gulp. The enemy swallowing vividly echoed. What are these sound effects? It's so goofy. <laughs> it's Rena too, and it's supposed to be creepy, but the sound effect from turning around to Rena, that just sounds so memeable. <laughs> a little quick help after receiving a pat on the shoulder. It's obviously Rena, yeah. Rena's head was slightly tilted as she stared curiously in my direction. Rena quickly turned away and then laughed softly as she looked at me on. Hey, no beef. We just apologize to each other. Mian asked that with a sullen expression. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, apparently that wasn't a diss. <laughs> that was trying to cast suspicion. With that one comment, the strong, the string on tension wrapped around us finally came loose. Mian let out a huge yawn then began to laugh. We're saved? So I think Rena was trying to just break up the conversation. True, they did have that. Right, the before meeting. Also, it's way too yeah. It's also early, too early for Shion to switch. 
Though, didn't she switch early in last start? No, she didn't, because we started post watching it, Ashi. Yeah, never mind. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> Based? Uh, come on, Keiichi. <laughs> okay. Cut up in Mian's boisterous laughter. It's one way to call it. <laughs> I began laughing along with her without even realizing it. Ren and Rita Chen joined in too, laughing together happily. Like our usual everyday routine. Uh oh. But for me right now, reality just didn't have that sweet, fluffy, cotton candy feel to it. I, it had a gritty feel that had all my senses on edge, thanks to the incident last night. Seeing those two eyes spilling fresh blood, following the disturbing shadows through the mountain of garbage, quietly entering a secret lair. What? <laughs> I mean, I remember him seeing the two eyes. I remember secretly is Rena's lair. Okay. Kind of. Oh, spilling fresh blood f from his fingers, right? I think so. What the heck? Mian struggled to find a reply to Renda's conjecture. Her face quickly turned defensive and her eyes shifted into a sharp glare. But Renna didn't flinch, she just looked down at Mian. What the heck? At first glance, it seemed like a fairly trivial disagreement. They're beefing. I thought we were all good in the hood. A trivial detail, a trivial change, a trivial disagreement. The two gears became entangled in reverse direction at a speed that nobody could possibly stop. Fight, fight, fight! Oh, oops, sorry, I skipped. And then Rana's voice continued echoing in my ears. I'm going to kill Tepe. I'm going to kill Tepe. Kill, kill. Rana let out a huge la yawn and then began to laugh. Oh, she's, she's, dude, I, I would be, I think we're done a group kill, but I would be interested in seeing how Rena would do it. I feel like Rena wouldn't get lost chasing Tepe like Keiichi did. Probably because she would run the hatchet strat instead of a bat. Faster kill, usually. <laughs> oh no. Bro, the way they're talking though makes it sound like it's Shion though. If they're implying they're all thinking about killing Tepe. Or both of them are. I don't know, dude. It's too early, though. As I watched Rena play around with an innocent smile on her face, I thought back to last night. Yay. Oh, no. Ah, yes, the, the enemy talk. I remember that from Sumi Oroboshi. Oh, wait, no, not an. Was that from Sumi Horoboshi? I'm thinking. Actually, that might have been from Go, I'm thinking of, the first arc. When she was calling people her enemy, like Keiichi. Who's an, like, it's very uh, distinct lines with enemy that I remembered. It might have actually also been from Sumi, too. Rena gently nodded, then casually picked up a stuffed animal sitting inside the station wagon. It must be a really old stuffed animal. It's completely filthy, and it's falling apart. Well, 
I don't think Chichi thinks so. Ma, ma. Otokono ore ga yuno mo nanda kedo. Kawaii to mo kedo. Okay. The disclaimer. So da yo ne. Yappari. Rena ga hen na no kana. Kana. Rena gently stroked the head of the stuffed animal, then immediately began strangling. Oh my God, Chichi, let's uh, get out of this tar. This isn't paranoia. This is Rena actually crazy. Squeeze. The stuffed animal's face warped in an unsunly manner as she crushed its neck. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, we were lying, so that's alright. Is this, uh. Is this pre Sumi or post Sumi? I thought this was after Mayakashi. But let me look. Uh, what is this? I always forget what this art's called. It's, it's probably worth looking up just because context does kind of matter for this. So this is... Suki Toshi. Uh, don't look at anything. Look at text. Text, text. Text, text. Don't, don't, literally, I'm, don't worry, I'm not looking at anything. I'm just trying to find where it comes. Oh, I should have the freaking, I should have the chart, bro. Yeah, let's not even, like, look at this possible spoiler page. Don't worry, literally no spoilers happened. I feel like over the years of YouTubing, I've become so good at, like, looking at stuff without reading it. Like, everything's, like, a blur, and you're just, like... Without reading, I just looked you for like the certain piece of information. I'm honestly low-key kind of proud of that. Uh, where do I find that graph? I wish I kept that up. <laughs> oh, flowchart. Yes, based. Okay, yeah, it's right after Mayatashi. So we haven't actually seen Sumi Horoboshi yet. Which is interesting. So we don't know Rena's backstory. And she's talking about the mother, so... She probably won't reveal it now. Just as this scene can be like mean differently, depending on uh, if it's post to me or not. Okay, just wanted to know that. I'm gonna put every ounce of strength in her body as she said that. Ah, uh, also she could mean Rena, but just how uh, or not Rena, um, Rena, but just how Kichi described the animal as like old and filthy. Let's see, I think it's some other for sure. Plop, roll, roll. Did she pop the head off? <laughs> the head of the stuffed animal was torn out and rolled to the ground. Bruh. You know, a good meme I just thought of. Uh, no, I won't say it. It's, it's too cringe. Ah, oh, it's kind of funny. that No, it's too cringe. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> when I hit fully clenched the remains of the stuffed animal in her hands. Oh. Technically, it can apply to both, but like definitely the mother. Rena threw the remains of the stuffed animal away. Like she was trying to rid herself of something dishonorable. And then she wiped her hands off on the hem of her skirt. <laughs> So ominous for people reading this. It is on the console. They're like, oh, what is this mystery? My mouth would deform if I did. Jesus. Love the energy. The mellow, drama dramatic energy. <laughs> In the face of Rena's cold strength, all I could do was keep her breathing. Huh. Oh, that's true. Oh, I did. I honestly didn't even think of that. Like, even though we were thinking of high, high level Rena, um, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that's an easy way to connect it. And this is actually a really good thing to if you're um, if you are reading this before Sumi Horoboshi, 
because they're, they're not going to tell you why, I think. Um, but like, these are some cool questions that you can theorize about. Though I don't know if you'd ever get the answer, to be fair, with the information you get for uh, why Rena would kill Tepe, but... Wow. Loki talking about it. That's cool. That's actually a good way to tie it in. And a good way to, uh, on why Rena wants to do this. Like, so this is a universe where Rena also came to with, but like, it's a little weird, actually, if you think about it, because, ooh, you think this is a plot hole? Probably not, but like, usually Tepe only comes to Hinamizawa because Rena gets killed by the Sonozakis. So it'd be weird if, I don't know if, like, she is dead and Rena doesn't know that, or they came together, maybe for the Badger game, but it's a little weird, but maybe we'll actually learn about that later. As she said that, Rena was wiping her hands so quickly and forcefully that they were turning red. This is definitely nightmare fuel, <laughs> fuel for Keichida. Even in the dark, I could see a sharp, foreboding light of listening in her eyes. Oh, don't tell me it worked. Right, I think she just died. Then a bitter lip, then slowly began to speak. It was a story of her family that she desperately tried to keep hidden behind a smile. A woman that Rena refused to even refer to by name approached Rena's father and deceived him to wrest large sums of money and property from him. That woman was actually Tepe's companion, and the two of them were collaborating by Okay, well, this is a little awkward if this is unlocked after my, my Tashi and you read this before Sumi Horoboshi. This is actually like, some good information. I thought they were gonna play like they they would like mention it like low key, but not like actually explain it so you have like something to think about before getting into Sumi. But this is just not what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> as fate would have it, the woman suffered a mysterious death right as Rena noticed what was going on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Answered my question because it didn't make sense if Rena was still alive. Okay, well there you go. Beautiful. Thanks to that, the damage she was able to inflict was cut off before Rena and her father were first to the streets. Yeah, I mean, problem solved. However, the stars left on Rena's family cut deep, casting dark shadows across Rena's heart. That's it's still a cool way to tie in Rena's motive to uh, kill Tepe. It's, it's probably also why she was so adamant about it. A road. You know, at, at me on right from the get go with the news just breaking. Because in the other world, obviously, she wasn't aid road by uh, the Rena situation since it didn't affect her personally in that world, as far as we know. Anyways, continuing. The hem of her skirt was turning red from the traces of fresh blood. Oh, there's the fresh blood. Han er, answered. One small scratch grew and spread. But even so, Rena wouldn't stop moving her hands. How much of a difference was there, really, between a wound that gnaws at your heart and a wound that bruises your body? A visible wound eventually heals over time, but an invisible wound can run so deep that it may last forever. You're a poet, my dude. That was actually pretty sick. <laughs> even many years later, a chance encounter can suddenly remind you that your bright wound, red wound remains open. Ooh. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Even though it's pretty... Pretty extreme. It's literally a description of them. それだけじゃない。あいつらはいつの間にか身内みたいな顔をして住み着くの。登場とかいやらしい芝居で人を騙して寄生して巻き上げた。True? <laughs> not false? Oh. Oh, uh, you're so dead, Tepe. You, we know how Rena feels about parasites. If she labels you a parasite, then that's not not good for you. Rub, rub. Ooh. <laughs> 
絶対に許せない絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対に絶対あれは害虫を駆除してくれる。Oh, くも八本のって。Renan nodded with a vacant smile, still lost in a dreamlike state. Thinking about it now, the eight hands that Renan mentioned. Renan's own hands, of course, and probably the hands of two more people who joined in on the plan. Hello? Eight hands? That sits. But. Who did the last two hands belong to? Okay, well, they're implying Keichi, Shion, Rena, Satoko, maybe? Oh, it's kind of weird. Ah, Hanyu, you're joining the kill squad. Let's go. I'll get you an extra bit cream puff after this if you bless us. When will we see Hanyu again, dude? Soon. Topium. And Tatano, you know, we haven't seen Tatano you know, yet. You know, I, I'm holding, it's fine. Because the next one is post me and Roshi. Do I have the flow charts up? Yeah. Net, oh, next one's post Sumi. Ooh. It might be a while. If ever. <laughs> but hopefully, Tatano. Still need to see Tatano, Hanyu. Okinodi, but I too really care. Nomura? <laughs> Nomura? It's basically just Tatano and Hanya are the big ones we haven't seen yet, I guess. Atasata too, I guess. Yeah. If you care about him. <laughs> Russell, Russell, Russell. Something made a noise off in the darkness. I felt a chill run across my back. In that moment, I didn't have the courage to look behind me. レイダー。だから、さよならとか言うな。お前が一人で抱えてきた傷とか悩みとか。けど、俺に何か手伝えることは本当にないのか支えるとか守るとか。そういうかっこいいことを言えないけどさ。でもう少しでもレナの気晴
As a result, Renna's fat got smaller and smaller, and then she disappeared completely from my sight. Perhaps we'll end up destroying the things we can't repair with our own hands? Seeing Renna leave filled me with despondence. I sat back down on my desk and buried my head. Renna entrusted me with the details of her plan. And, oh, okay. And it drifted through my mind so many times. But in my dreams, I was taking action. The unforgettable feeling ran through my subconscious visions, but I wanted more. I wanted to kill him myself. Once again, I saw my true feelings. I'm going to kill Tepe. I'm going to kill Tepe. Kill, kill. When his words continued echoing on my ears, and my heart was racing. I wanted to kill him. I wanted to kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill, want to kill, kill, want to kill, 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 want to kill, kill, want to kill, 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 want to kill, kill, want to kill, kill. Whoa! An unexpected voice calling out my name brought me back. Okay, confirmed Mion was not she. I already thought she wasn't, but you know, for the 10% of my brain thought, maybe. We're back. When I looked up, I saw Shin standing there with a hatred expression. It seemed that a long time had passed without me realizing it. Mian and Rita Chan had apparently gone home. No, dude. Show Mian in the same room now. It's back to 10%. God damn it. <laughs> this world's doomed anyways, boys. Just join Rena. Shen made a painfully distorted face as she clutched her hair. <laughs> She let out a deep sigh, then collapsed into the seat next to me. What? Oh, she lied? Dabbed on the Constitution Center? <laughs> no! Appeal again! In a twisted sort of way, I guess. Sharon responded with a helpless nod. Dude, my girl like this. Unlucky. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> she let out a self tortured laugh, and in the end, it was mixed with tears. Oh, God. We're on a chill train, boys. Oh! What the fuck did I click? I don't even know what I clicked. What happened? I thought she was trying to say that. I clicked something. A grievous cry erupted from the depth of Xion's heart. Her words resonated vigorously with the rage inside my chest. And was it... At this point, I finally realized it. All options other than murder had already been exhausted. Sure. Sure. Hey, you can't steal Mion's blushing face. I'm sure Shion's done it before. <laughs> but you know. Shion gazed at my face in astonishment. Oh god. He's gonna become a Rena follower. <gasps> Shion shook her head a little, like she didn't understand what I was getting at. I collected all my thoughts as I gazed at Shion. I won't turn away any longer. So if you feel the same way I do, just not quietly. Hi. Shion muttered that in a timid voice while giving me a stern nod. Then, Shion's expression gradually regained its vigor. 
サトシ君から預かった大切な妹ですから。We stared at each other. We stared each other down to measure the strength of our will. And then we both vigorously nodded at each other. Yes. Let me tell you Rena's 50 step plan on killing Tepe. Whoa, where are we going? The dump? Hey, meeting spot. I touched Yana and headed to the garbage mountain. I thought about Rena sitting alone in her secret room surrounded by a mountain of garbage, and it made me walk faster. This is the path I walked with Rena last night. But this time, I, felt no, I feel no helplessness or shame. We're committed, boys. It's happening. I promise not to look away any longer. There's only one thing I see now Rena's delicate back, trembling in solitude, struggling to fight off incredible anxiety. Hold on, Rena. I'll catch up with you soon. You're not alone. I'll stand beside you. Let's turn and face this together. Society, morals, sin and punishment, everything. She almost a little hesitant, but she quietly nodded. Uh, kind of is. Loads. Sorry, I, I don't think you can hit at mock speed like Rena. She finally had a smile on her face. I felt relieved and smiled back at her. The two of us held hands. Ah,、uh, hand holding in public? Hello? Alito? I pulled Xion by the hand and I ascended the mountain of garbage. Mion fans, hold, hold. Surely we'll get a better Mion art next time. Oh, we kinda got one before. But surely in this, in this console art, s it will be our time to shine. Then we quietly approached the station wagon. I felt an indication of someone breathing inside. Rena quietly hid herself and wouldn't reply. We're with you. This world's ending, anyways. Let's, let's give it our all. とか思ってるんだろうけど俺は決めたぜ俺お前の後ろについていって離れないから。お前が拒否して逃げ続けるなら俺はひたすらずっと尾行してやる人に見られたくないような。お宝ショットとかバッチリ収めてやるからな。そ
Like, what the fuck? Shin Tommy threw an accurate verbal jab. Hey, this is low key revenge for Anu Takeshi. Don't feel bad, Rena. Keiji was just fucking destroying your hand in there. Man, I looked like she was on the verge of tears as she grabbed my right hand and tried breathing on it. Okay. Whoa! Oh, woo. Yo! What the fuck? Isn't this, uh... Oh, I was like, oh, this sounds familiar. Isn't this literally, uh, Syl from Rance's healing spell? I don't know if you can actually do that. Rance, Syl, heal... I swear, she says, pain, pain, go away. I know, because I remember saying it a billion times. I mean, I mean, I know the rants and Hidrashi fans of the channel don't really correlate, but if, if you are, you know I love Syl. She's adorable. Or maybe I should just put rant Syl quotes. And that whenever she uses a healing spell, I'm pretty sure she says, uh... Pain, pain, go away. Cause I, I, I've said that a, a bunch of times, I think. I can't find it. Damn, dude. If I remember. <laughs> I, I always say, <laughs> I mean, if I remember, I'll, I'll put something in post edit. Though, there's like a 70% chance I will forget. But yeah, cool, cool, confirmed. Rena a so fan? <laughs> Good taste. She is adorable. Rena would like her. Pink fluffy sheep. I couldn't help but laugh out loud. Kana? Oh no. It was just that seeing Rena react like her usual innocent self made me feel relieved. I cleared my throat, then turned to face Rena once again. Rena, listen to me. I have the same feeling with you. And Sion also have the same feeling with us. Rena made a sideways glance toward Sion. Sion looked back toward me with a perplexed expression. I was thinking about you here, but... I don't know what you're Okay, since it was bugging me, I did look up, uh, trying to find Sil's healing spell. I couldn't find it, but I only did spend 10 minutes, and I probably won't, because now I'm too lazy, but... I swear she... 90% chance she says that. Sorry, I was stun locked. I'm free now! Let's continue. Anyways, yes. Join... Join the kill squad. Surely it'll work. Who cares? Totten is gonna kill us all anyways later. Rena's eyes opened wide and wandered in disbelief. Hey! Oh, we got some backup. You said it. Shan let out a brief shriek, then stared at me in disbelief. Uh, well, maybe bash his brains in. Let's go. What the dude? There definitely is, but not this art. Yeah, I know. I don't shoulders drooped and began lightly trembling. She bit her lip and furrowed her eyebrows. Oh, God. <laughs> He boosted her. <laughs> Neon, save us all. <laughs> As Shan raised her head, she burst out laughing with all the force in her body. <laughs> Rena 
God. Weird vibes, man. This isn't even paranoia, they're just freaking weirdos. Dude, their their dead eye is also looks different than uh in the OG game when we played it. Updated dead eye graphics. I think it's like the black layer looks different, I think. I think. Maybe it's the same. Their laughter echoed throughout the mountain of garbage, an orchestra of loathing, a trio of murderous intent. I entrusted myself to that beautiful sound. Lena, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> She wore a courageous smile as she stood straight and approached us. Rena turned her eyes toward me. Mm. At least they're unified. Strongly. Rena smiled and nodded at me, and then she and she placed their hands on top of mine. It's the stuffed, the stuffed uh, friendship circle. <laughs> Three overlapping hands. We all suddenly nodded. Oh, the dream said four. Is that is that Hanyu? Is is she she ready to throw down to? We all suddenly nodded. Hey! Then we all raised our hands toward the sky together. So cheerful. Rena gave me a powerful nod and held my right hand tight. What the? Oh yeah, I, for I also forgot her hand hurts still. So. Stop! <laughs> Don't stun lock me! Pain, pain, go away. Xion began to mutter like she was adding to her strength to Rena's spell. Oh my god. Also, like, why is this so comedic? <laughs> it's an interesting vibe. Suddenly, all three of our voices overlap. Let's go! Why is this so memeable right now? <laughs> I'm down though. Inside our secret lair, we made an oath to pledge our sinful resolve. We held each other's hands and locked eyes. Then we deeply nodded to one another determined to fight for our future. The sunset enveloped the garbage mountain. The surrounding area faded from orange to vermilion, and then a deep red, like an omen for our terrible blood-stained world. Just as we stain our world with loathsome sentiment, sediment, sentiment, everything around us will be dyed more and more red. That's a chapter break slash end, if I've ever seen one. Okay, what a fun, this was a fun part. I like it. I think, so my, my criticisms of the noises, I think that's actually, I actually take them back, dude. Because I think it was actually on purpose. I think they're going for a spooky yet memeable vibe for some reason. Just because that last scene was just like kind of ridiculous. Still like eerie, but ridiculous at the same time. So I think that must be it. Oh, almost 2 a.m. Good, good sash, good sash, slightly longer than the past one, so, um, anyways, Kill Squad has been formed, and we'll see what, um, how that'll work out. I'm, I'm not as hopeful, but we'll see. But thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and see you next time on some more Hidrashi. Peace.